Oh, yeah. But that's a better one. No freaking way. Boom. All right. Yeah, I'll get out of your way. It's no big deal. Oh, yeah. How am I going to get him up? Oh, my gosh. I've never fished with anything like this on the channel. He actually bent out my hook. I think I'm going to start off with this old spinnerbait right here. Got him. There he is. Oh. What's up, boys? Just uh, found a new location. Oh, my God. There he is. Yo, what's poppin'? Boys and girls, ladies and gents, welcome to another video. We got a juicy one today. I don't know if you guys can tell by my face, my eyes are freaking swollen. I'm still sick. We had some, we had a long day yesterday, so we're both legs sore, everything. Just, gosh, it's gonna be a grind today. As you guys can tell right here, we actually have both of our kayaks in the back of Alan Bob's truck, man. We're about to go to a new location that we've never been to today. I'm super excited about it. Got them all ratchet strapped down on this truck. They're not going anywhere. And we're about to go take this to the pond, baby. We gotta grab our poles as well, load them up, and then we're gonna catch some giants. everybody just made it to the location or i made it to the location alan bob actually had to take a freaking smedley so hashtag smedley boy below he's over there having to take a take a old smedley he had to get out of here so i'm about to dump my kayak in i might wait on alan bob honestly i don't know i've never been in this place let me show you guys what i what i'm working with real quick so I got the old kayak right here. As you guys can tell, I do have my life vest. I got my life vest finally. Um, this is actually one I already had. I just got my parents to ship it down to me because my boat is in Atlanta getting worked on, but I'm about to get it back. So I got that, thank God. Got a little bit of tackle boxes right here. I have my poles on. Let me show you what I got rigged up. So on my first rod, I just got a simple little Texas rig with the speed curl on. Then I have an old spinner bait. And then lastly, I got an old drop shot. Gotta have that bad boy on the boat. I do have another pole over here, which is just an old skinny dipper. I don't know if I'm gonna bring that out with me because I don't know if I can really, I don't wanna put any more than three rods on the deck right now. This is actually a new location I have never been to. I'm super excited about it today. I actually had one of my supporters show me this spot a while back and I have yet to really even come fish it. So today that's what I'm gonna be doing. Let me show you guys what I'm working with down here. Here is the old juicy location. Oh my God, does this place look good, guys? Look, I mean, I am just, oh. It looks so good that I'm kind of freaking out. I'm super excited to throw the boat in on this place. I just have a feeling that there's some major toads back up in here. Never been here before. As you guys can tell, the water clarity is pretty dirty. I'm assuming that this place is around three to four foot all the way across. I don't think it gets really deep at all, and it goes all the way down there. I mean, it's not really big, but it's definitely a cool location. I think there's going to be some hogs in here. I actually did have another location today that we planned on going to, but the only reason we didn't go to it is we were supposed to go really early this morning. That just did not happen. Alan Bob actually fell asleep early, and I couldn't get a hold of him, and then I actually fell asleep too, and it was just all a big... We had a long day yesterday, and we're freaking exhausted so we did not get to hit that location but the new area that i am wanting to hit for a different video is perfect for frogs so i think we're going to get there early one morning and just whack some frog fish so you guys need to turn on post notifications subscribe hit the like button stay tuned for that video because that one's just going to be crazy i think while we're waiting on alan bob that i take this old texas rig and see if we can catch one off the bank golly this place looks so good I'm gonna be a really good friend and bring his kayak over for him. Yes, sir. Golly, Bob, calm down now. <laughs> Always got the white monster on deck. Whew, all right. Oh, all right, Bob. I think I'm gonna start off with this old spinner bait right here. Let's see what we can do. It's not the exact color I would want, but it'll work. I don't have all my tackle with me. A lot of my stuff, 95% per, of my stuff's in my boat, which I do not have. So kind of working with what I got. Oh man, it's like two foot deep. <laughs> There's some gators in here, dude. I <laughs> know, I don't know. 
I'm gonna freak out. I think we should, let's start like right here and kind of like cast back in this corner. Oh, I got him, bro. Oh my gosh. First freaking fish. He ain't big. Dude, this fish is cold, bro. I caught him out in the middle. There we go, baby. First fish at the new pond. Nothing big at all. Super cold. You can tell the fish is... God, look at his body, man. Super light. This is awesome, man. First fish of the day at the new pond. Whew, dude, that scared me. I thought I had a giant for a minute there. This is... I've never caught a fish here, so that's awesome. It's a good start. On the old spinner bait, baby. Just scared me so bad, bro. That's a good sign on a moving bait. Dude, that was right behind you, wasn't it? Yeah, I just fan cast your spinner baits, right? Cover some water. Oh, got him. Dude, his next cast. Another small one. Look how they're eating it, dude. I'm not even kidding. They are choking the spinner bait. Look at that baby. Choking the freaking spinner bait. Oh, they're small, but God, man. I don't care. This is. They're eating that spinnerbait good. That is a good sign. You got a lot of cloud cover today. Not much wind. There actually is a lot of wind, but how this pond is set with all the trees around it, it's just not blowing in here. But oh man, second fish, second cast. That's crazy. Like two casts in a row. We're gonna keep covering water with this old spinnerbait. There he is. Dude, they choke the spinnerbait. I mean, literally choking it. Oh, you should be munching this thing. Another small one. You can tell the colors are different on this one, not as pale and white. On the old spinnerbait, just choking it. Third fish. This one's actually pretty stubby. We're gonna continue to go around here, see if we can catch some more. It's been pretty slow. Another one. So small though. Like what in the world? I'm finally catching them. I'm figuring out what they're doing now. They're just eating this freaking spinnerbait. Golly, they're just eating the spinnerbait. So small though, I just don't get it. He didn't choke it as far as the other ones. He more swiped at it, but it's on this old spinnerbait right here. All right, baby. There's four fish on the spinnerbait, all small. What I'm doing is on this pond, there's a bunch of grass along this bank. And the difference between this bank and the other bank on the other side of this place is this one has a lot of shade. It has a good bit of shade. The other one, the sun is just beaming on it. And pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just chucking the spinnerbait parallel with this bank along with that grass and in the shade line and slowly reeling the spinnerbait. I mean, slowly reeling it. If I start speeding it up, I'm actually trying to steer my kayak with this spinnerbait, but I'm just simply throwing it along that grass, letting it hit, slowly reeling this thing, and just popping my rod just like that. So if they're chasing the spinnerbait, they don't know if they want to eat it. Once you give it that sporadic movement just like that, that's when this fish have been whacking it. You just pop that rod and they just demolish it, end up choking it. Oh my god, that's better one. No, he ain't small again. It's freaking five fish on the spinnerbait, all small. <laughs> but they're eating it, and I figured out, you know, what these fish want for sure. Beautiful little bass, pretty. The last three that I just caught have been, you know, not as light. They've been a lot more darker just because they've been up in that grass and clearly hiding up under that in that shade. And right when this thing comes by, they're just smacking it. simple things like that that you really need to pay attention to when you're out there fishing like those first two fish I caught you could tell they were super light like super super light which made sense because you know I caught this fish right out in the middle of this pond and the last three that I caught you could tell they had a lot of color to them they're a lot more dark because they are hiding up in this grass and you, know, you can just tell by the color of the fish and figure out where they're coming from it just all makes sense because the three that I caught 
or just hide under the stuff all dark. The ones I caught out in the middle, they're way, 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 way lighter and not really under all that grass and cover. What's up boys, just uh, found a new location. It's kind of raining, we're waiting on it to blow by. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. We left that first area, caught five on a spinnerbait. Alan Bob had no luck on a drop yeah. shot, which is like freaking insane. So maybe it's just gonna be a reaction bite today. We're gonna put it at this new place. Once I show you guys this, <laughs> this place looks so juicy. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna throw this camera away because I'm getting rained on, but I'll catch back up with you guys. I actually just started an Instagram live a minute ago. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. Got a lot of loyal supporters on there. I've been doing it for a while. And uh, Instagram's been crazy lately. Just has not been sharing my content. So if you guys could go over there and start liking some photos, maybe follow me on there, turn post notifications on. Always update you guys on that. But anyways, just stopped raining. We got the kayaks right there. Got Mr. Allen Bob right here. We're about to dump him in, baby. Boys, we made it. Alan Bob's about to throw his in now. I mean, look at the freaking cover. Clear water, not super clear, but it's got a pretty good bit of visibility. I mean, look how big this place is. This is definitely the biggest place I've fished. Man, got our life jackets on deck as well. We were ready to catch some fish. Alrighty, this is the first cast. Whip out the spinnerbait. Choking out the other place. So why not throw it here? See if we can get some on it. That's the bottom right there. Oh my God. Oh, there's freaking fish in here, boys. We just got out on the spinnerbait. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fish, thick. Thick and healthy. Yo boys, if you guys haven't followed us already, me on Instagram, Alan Bob on Instagram. Oh boys, this place is juicy. It's about to freaking happen. Oh man, Alan Bob, it is going down right now. There he is. On a drop shot. Decent bass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, let's go, man. Looks like he broke off my weight. That is a freaking fat one. All right, there we go, baby. Second fish, second freaking fatty. My drop shot right off the bank. I was thrown off a little bit more with these trees. And I actually threw right up on there and that's when he ate it. That is a nice little thick fish. I want to know if there's some giants in here though. I'm sure there are. These fish are just so healthy, I can just tell. Taking really good care of in this pond over here. All right, buddy. Let's go. All right, we need a new weight since he decided to knock mine off. That could have been very bad. Would have really made me mad if I dropped my whole drop shot box in the water. Oh, he has it. There he is. Small, smallest bass I've ever caught. What in the world, guys? That was the biggest <laughs> cluster I've seen. That is such a small bass. That is the third one here. Golly. Another small one. In the old drop shot. Another small dude. There's a lot of bait in here, and I know there has to be some giants in here. They've already caught two fat ones, but and two babies. Jeez, man. Not a bad one. It's starting to rain right here. Alright, boys. That is not too bad of a fish. 
Little fat guy right there. Not bad, he's right off the end of that tree. It's been a minute since we've had a bite. Trying to get Alan Bob to put a big one in the boat because I know there's some giants out here. All right, Alan Bob, what you doing, man? Washing the old kayak. Bro. Washing them, hosing them all down. Well, everyone, I'd like to talk about, you know, what happened today. Everything I caught the fish on, that whole deal. Well, so we both went out there. Alan Bob just had no luck. I don't know what was going on. I told him he just got bad luck because he beat me in that last kayak fishing episode. By the way, if you haven't checked that one out, it's the 1v1 fishing challenge kayak fishing challenge be sure to go check it out i'll also link it below like i was saying um it did really really bad because of youtube crashing that one day you guys should totally go check it out it's a good video i think you guys would enjoy it but if you guys enjoyed this one be sure to pepper that like button for the first pond that we went to first area first lake that we went to i ended up catching five on a spinner bait i couldn't catch any on a crawl or a drop shot and that's what alan bob tried is the drop shot the whole time and it just was not happening it seemed like the reaction bite was the best on that spinner bait just slow rolling it popping my rod every once in a while and they were just smucking that thing it was just more of a natural color it was by striking then the next pond that we went to i ended up catching one on the spinner bait and then four on a drop shot and those fishers were a lot slower i haven't been to either of these locations before so it was cool just to fish some new areas and bring the kayak out to you know some different places because obviously this pond right here that's been in the last two kayak episodes i that's the only place i've fished so today was the first time i really got to go to new areas and search some new areas but if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to pepper up that like button be sure to leave a comment below on what kayak fishing episodes you would like to see next or what fishing challenges or literally whatever guys just go ahead and do that for me and also be sure to hit the bell and the subscribe button so it will send you post notifications guys thank you guys so much for the support i love you guys so much i'll get you guys in the next video I got sky like the weatherman, uh I crack cars, get hella bears, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with us, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh